So a beautiful soup is usually my recommended method for scraping websites. Uh, there are other ways to do it. Um, you know, and beautiful soup does take a little while if you don't know Python to write the script and um, to do some other things. And I will say, you know, some websites are smart enough to know that you're using a scraper and will block you. Uh, so there are ways in which to scrape uh, websites without using beautiful soup. So let's look at one of those methods now. Um, I'm here on the Met website. Um, the Met website has an API, but it doesn't give you access to their images. Um, some of these images are uh, open source and others are not. So there's sort of a little bit of a trick there of trying to figure out what you're allowed to use and what you're not, and also just what you can get and what you don't want to get. Um, but I can show you a really quick example of how to grab a bunch of images uh, from a, a page like this. Now this is a little bit more manual um, than writing your own scraper, but for many of us, it might actually be quicker to do it this way. So uh, first thing we're going to do is we're just going to try to figure out sort of like what the pattern is here. Um, and what I sort of realized is if I open up an image from this screen using um, open image a new tab. You'll see here that there's a URL and there's this uh, path of mobile large. Um, and this is usually a good example of like seeing something where like I bet I could find a way to get a higher resolution image from this. And what it turns out to is I did a little bit of research and dug around. Um, what you do is you just switch out the URL to be from mobile large to original. And this is an example where it doesn't work. Uh, let me find an example where it does work actually. And this is also kind of an, a good thing to know is that sometimes this doesn't work in every case. So open a new tab, um, switch this to original. And there you go, there's the high-res image. So this is now a way for me to like, I can basically scrape this page and just grab the URL for these thumbnails and then switch them out. Um, now I could do this in, in Python um, using beautiful soup, but there's another way I could do it as well, which is uh, using the console log and using JavaScript. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and open this uh, view or inspect. Um, so if you don't have uh, the developer tools installed, you'll need to install them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in a little bit of code here, which I have in this file here. And let's talk about what this does. So this is a little bit of JavaScript. Um, and we're basically what we're going to do is we're going to query all of the um, this tag uh, in the HTML. And we're going to apply that to an image. And then uh, we're going to like basically put that in an array. And then we're going to go through that in an array. And we're going to grab the source, which is that this line of code um, that basically says, like, here's you know where the, where the the that where that thumbnail image lives. And we're going to replace mobile large with original. Uh, and then so we're going to run this script, and we'll see what we get. And you'll see here we get a script that says um, all of these URLs, right? So this is the number of URLs on this page. I guess it's probably like 10 or 12 or 15. Um, and then we get URLs for each of these. And if I go ahead and tab click a couple of these, some of them will open, some of them won't. That's fine. Again, we're just going to kind of cast a wide net and get what we can. So what do I do with this? Well, the first thing I'll do is I'm just going to copy this here. And I'm going to create a new file, uh, just a new text edit file. And I'm going to go paste in and the key here is you want to select all and then I guess you want to hit shift command T and what that does is it converts it to plain text uh, and then you want to remove that so basically I just have a list here of images um, and this is what I'm going to uh, build up so this has now worked for this page which is you know ever what 20 results so I guess let's just actually do this so let's switch this to 80 And then we'll actually run this script again. So we'll go over here and we'll go inspect. And we'll press up and get all of these URLs again. Oops. And we'll copy and we'll come over here and we will paste. So now I have a bunch more URLs, right? Um, so if I come down here and I go to uh, page two, And I'll run this again. So this is sort of where it's uh, where you can see how it's, you know, it's a little it's a little more manual. But um, for some of us, this is easier than uh, trying to run or trying to learn how to write Python in Beautiful Soup. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab these. So now I got something like 160 URLs, and it looks like it really isn't that many, and I'm not sure why. But um, again, this is just to sort of give us what we need. Um, so we're going to save this file. So we're going to save this as um, let's save it into a folder, and we'll call it Met. And we'll just call it met links. And we'll use .txt. 
Great. So now let's go ahead and open up Terminal. And we're going to go to that folder. So let's go CD um, slash desktop uh, mat. Yep, and ls. Yep, that's our file. So now what we want to do is we want to write wget dash i, and then we want to take this path. So what this is going to do is this is going to run wget, which is basically like a way to grab a bunch of URLs. And we're passing it that txt file. And what it's going to do is it's going to run through that entire file line by line and pull down the images that it can get from there. Let's go ahead and run this. You'll see that it's starting to run over each and every image. And if I go into that folder, you'll see it's downloading our images. And these are pretty high res, right? So if I look at one of these, um, you know, almost 4K. So this is really great. So this is a, a technique that you can use on pretty much, again, any website. The, the, the challenge here is that you need to figure out what this pattern is. So, you know, first off, you'll need to figure out if this is the correct, um, you know, CSS class, if there's other ways you need to do it. In some cases, what I've had to do is I've had to go to like the div um, and find the div of the that. And then so you could do like um, div class, whatever the class is on that div. And then you could do um, image. So this is, whoops, let's do that. Also, this might be terrible because I, I can tell already this is coming to smart quotes. So make sure it's actually not smart quotes and, and these these guys. Um, so you know, just be aware that like you, you'll probably need to play with this a little bit and then you'll need to figure out what the pattern of replacement is. And some websites might not have pattern replacement, but this is a good example of like, I think most of them will, or many of them will have some, some format for it. So this is your challenge is to sort of figure this out. Um, but in general, this is this works really well, and I, what I like about it is it's like you need to write Python, you need to figure out how how to write a loop or anything. You're just sort of manually doing a slightly more manual process to go over every page. Um, but in the end, what you're getting is a lot of images. Uh, and I will say this passes there. I think the Met has some scraper tech that sort of checks for things, but wget seems to work still. So this is a great example of again, you can scrape things in many different ways, um, and there are a bunch of different techniques to do it. But this is one way in which you can. Um, get a lot of images without having to learn beautiful soup. So uh, I think that covers it for this video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you next time.